I'm gonna tell you about a sort of museum dilemma. So have you ever tried to get a charger or a case for a cell phone that's more than a few years old? You're either out of luck or you roll the dice and buy one online from a country that ends with a stan. Well, imagine what would happen if a 100-year-old doohickey breaks. I bet you'd be really steamed. Greenfield Village, part of the Henry Ford in Dearborn, Michigan, operates several old-fashioned steam trains for visitors to ride and enjoy most months of the year. Some of these iron horses were built as far back as the 1860s, yet they still run like champs. That's because they're meticulously maintained by a small crew of skilled mechanics. I rode into the village's iconic locomotive roundhouse to meet Chief Mechanic Tom Fisher and find out what it takes to keep these classic trains chugging along. Oh boy, what a ride. Hey, Mo, how are you this morning? Good to see you, Tom. How'd you like to ride in on the locomotive? Well, I always love a train. You like trains, but the difference is this is not a train. This is a locomotive. And until you take and couple the locomotive onto a string of cars, it's just a locomotive. Once you couple up, then it becomes a train. Steam locomotives were the high-tech marvels of their day, and the people who operated and maintained them were 19th century rock stars. What about a locomotive mechanic? That's you, right? I'm one of the mechanics, yes. OK, why does a locomotive mechanic matter? Maintenance. Steam locomotives are intensely in need of maintenance. All the parts that you see on the locomotive are exposed. As they operate, you've got grit, you've got dirt, you've got dust, you've got lubricants that all kind of blend together, and all these moving parts back and forth, the rotating parts, they're all out there in the open. That stuff can accumulate on there, and it causes wear. Depending on the environment, there can be a lot of damage done to a locomotive, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. A century ago, thousands of steam locomotive mechanics had to know every bolt, piston, and gasket. There were hundreds of moving parts, and the learning curve was steep. It still is today. How do you learn to become a locomotive mechanic? Basically, we're following past practice. We apprentice. We have people who are coming in, and it's a transition and a transfer of skill. I've been doing this almost 30 years, and I'm still learning stuff all the time. To become a really good mechanic, it takes at least six, seven years. What's that called? A valve handle. OK. Um, what's that called? There's an air cleaner in there. What's that little thing called? That's a grease fitting. OK. Very, he, he, this guy really knows it. Thank goodness. Of course, one challenge of maintaining these classic steam engines is finding new parts to replace the worn out and broken ones. What do you do when you need a new part to something as old as this? Most of the time when we replace a part, if it's not something readily available like a valve, we manufacture ourselves. You build it here. We build it here, yeah. Wow. Becoming a steam locomotive mechanic requires a vast knowledge of not only the engine components, but also the equipment used to make the parts and do the repairs. It's hot, greasy, dirty work. But if you love trains... I'm guessing that you wash your hands before lunch. Not always. It depends what you're eating. It depends on what I'm eating. Absolutely. You eat everything through a straw <laughs> when you're working here. Thankfully, the roundhouse mechanics are still on the job, keeping these stoic steel wheels turning for future generations to enjoy.